time of year has come that we have all been waiting for all year long. Put in the hard work all summer to hopefully get big results this fall. Here's to Pennsylvania deer season 2023. Next spot, we got tons of cameras to put out and scent ropes, all sorts of stuff. Might fly the drone around a little bit up at one of our plots. So, yeah, let's get into it. This one? Yeah. Hanger. This field was just tilled up. Look for some tracks, see where they're coming through that quick. Okay, that one's ready to go. In a good spot. So, Last year in this spot is where I ended the late season and all the PA hunting season and I had a camera close to this one and uh, lots of late season bucks cruising through. Obviously I filmed my buck tag then and uh, lots of does too. So I'm hoping this bedding area here since they just planted this field should be good. I mean I know it's hay but I still think this bedding area these deer are going to come out of every night. So I guess we'll see via the pictures. Up here at the spot where we're gonna put our new cell cam at. We have it, we had a cell cam here all summer. Worked pretty hard, put a good food plot in down here. And I'm thinking about putting my saddle and getting set up here. Paps tree stands down here. It's where I shot my buck last year and my doe two years ago. And uh, I'll probably leave the rest of some drone footage here to show you guys this food plot and show you a layout of this mountain. We got permission to hunt this far edge, but getting, we got pictures of six doe up here at a time pretty much all week and a couple smaller bucks so yeah as you probably hear it's pretty windy right now we're getting a really bad storm it's kind of a good time to put these stands up deer are all bedded down somewhere but this there's a tree stand over here paps tree stand i got some pretty good footage of that with the drone but right there's paps stand right here's this big Food plot. Not really big, but it's the only area on this whole hillside that has food, bedding, water down there. And I was thinking of putting my saddle somewhere up in here where I had it last year. Because I have plenty of shooting to here. These deer come out of here and come down from here. All out of this bedding area they filter out of. Might have to do this here. Might just have to set up there where the camera is. It's a setting up quietly. Them new tethered skeletons are pretty awesome sticks. I can get them up a lot faster than I can the hawks. Even the money, muddy, muddy ghost sticks, I can get them up. These uh, tethered ones go up a lot nicer. Right in there. That tree in the back provides a nice backdrop. Wind's gonna be blowing this way. I can shoot over all of this field. I'm just hoping they wander down here or the top of this field and feed a little. Give me a good shot. As long as I can catch them coming this way, it's 
instead of this way. If they're down in here, they might get my wind. But if they're up in here, working their way down, should be gold. Just as well as I can. Get that on there. My broadhead's ready. We don't use that tool to put these on either because we're not. Well, the morning is here. It is four o'clock. I got about three and a half hours of sleep last night because it is like Christmas morning. Uh, everything kind of just kicks off today. Uh, PA hunting. This will run now till I don't know when the last day is. January something. But pretty much all our seasons collide now, and this is kind of the kickoff to that. And. I'm just really excited to see what this season brings. Like I said, we put in a lot of work this summer and hopefully we can see it kind of pay off here as the season goes. But I have a feeling someone's gonna at least shoot a doe or two today. We haven't taken a doe on these couple of pieces of land since uh, 2021. And I think we shot one that year. All right, so it is about 545. I'm out here standing in the light so you guys can see me. It's uh, 57 degrees pretty warm but uh get ready to head up here around six or like in the next 10 minutes get ready get the saddle on and then make the hike up i'm gonna switch lenses here before i get in and i'll do the intro and everything off the gopro that way i don't have to mess around with lenses making noise and that field edge and everything but yeah so we didn't get any pictures last night at this spot so that's good hopefully they're holding off till this morning to come through or this afternoon so I can't wait. Archery season's here.
What's up, everybody? It is 3.56, and I got in here about 10 minutes ago, and my camera's been going off for the past 20 minutes, right up over the crest of this hill here. There's deer heading down, probably to get food, and then come back over here for bedding. And uh, I'm just gonna stick it out here. It's about 75 degrees out. For this big doe, we, we just got a picture of her. Like I said, 10 minutes ago, she has no fawns, no anything. She just kind of roams, just kind of roams these fields. <laughs> but this is the set I was at this morning. I didn't see anything, but hopefully this afternoon we can change that. Like I said, because it's so warm out, we gotta make sure we put a good shot on these deer to make sure they don't go far. But it is very warm out, and uh, we're just gonna make the most out of it. I know them deer ain't very far away right now. So, got a good wind. The wind shifted to the north. So now we're blowing opposite of this field. So we should be in good hands here for this afternoon. We're at a couple camps along this field. And uh, getting pictures of deer almost every evening here. And uh, this evening is one of them we got pictures already at. The earliest these deer have moved in the three weeks I've had these cameras up was today probably the warmest day out of all of them, so I don't know if it kind of kicked them back into their summer pattern quick or what. I'm just hoping for the best here to get, get some fresh venison. So it is, I think, 6, 6.15, and I just downloaded the footage and watched. I'm not really sure what to say about that one. Like I said, she was kind of walking away, and I was just staying on her and trying to figure out where those lungs would be. And uh, must have rushed a shot or something, hit her really far back. But... I know you guys are probably thinking, wow, that was a horrible shot. I actually got a trail cam picture of her running away with a huge hole in the center of the ribs. So, it's just unreal. That bow pushed that mega meat in through the hind quarter and out the lungs. Like I said, I'm not proud of that shot. We all make mistakes. I was drawn back here. There's a piece that hangs off the fluid head here. And it got it must have got tangled up in between my string and my bow. And when I released it, took the camera and swung it towards the deer. And uh, like I said, I'm just thankful that I put that good of a shot on that deer. And as she was running away, it was just puking, puking blood. Because if I would hit that deer, which it could have went a lot worse than that, that would have been something that would be really hard to get over. But I'm just thankful for that that deer. When I watched that footage, she was running away. You could see the blood shooting out of 
her back hind quarter and it coming out the front side too. And the Tacticam got a good picture of her so we can see exactly where that shot was. So, it's just unreal. I don't know. I'm telling you though, them, them Mega Meat broadheads are a bad broadhead. I've never seen such a thing on a deer that wasn't a fixed blade. Uh, I can't believe how close I got to actually, I mean, I'm in the lungs. Which is crazy, because like I said, you guys are probably all like, what? This is Leva here. So it's been about an hour and a half since I shot. I'm gonna sneak up here to the arrow, see what kind of blood we got. I mean, in the video, it looked like she was pumping. But I'm just gonna go up here and see if I can sneak my way in. I don't think she went far. All sorts of crazy stuff. Right there that is. Alright, let's get on this tracking job. So Pap is going back to get some lights. We got last blood up here. I kind of quit tracking. My phone died. That was the only source of light I had. Right there. There's blood. Right here, a bunch of it. Back here. Yeah. Like I said, it shot out all over. Yeah. Yeah. You see how that arrow went through her whole body? Yeah. From end to end. Right here. Look at it all. Yeah. There's a bunch. There's some. There. Get up here. Yeah. Yep. yep. She's right here. Yeah, yeah, I should be able to. No way. I said no way. This deer is a tank. Holy cow. That is a tank of a doe. Up where the tree stand is. Well, up where the camera is, the Tacticam, on that trail. Can you grab it? Yeah, I'll run up there and get that. Okay. Right. Yep. That is a tank of a doe. Well, I got her up here to the trail, and uh, from where I shot her, she may be 100 yards, if that. And it was all downhill. Whew. Man, is it ever hot out. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do me sitting with the deer and talking and everything, just because it's so hot out. And I got a lot of stuff to collect. But I'm sure that I'll make the end of the video worth it for you guys. So, what a great way to start this PA season off. And hopefully this is a representation of what this archery season is going to be like. Got West Virginia next weekend. Me and Dylan are going down there. And absolutely cannot wait. <laughs> Thank you. 